Hey guys, it's Bo, Skate Engineer from Open Source Skateboards. And for this how to design a skateboard episode, we're gonna talk about pop angle and what exactly that is. So pop angle is the angle that our board makes when we are popping it like in an ollie. This angle is made up of a couple different features of our board. First one is the nose and tail length, which is the distance from the outer bolts to the tip of our board just straight up like that. The second feature is the kicktail length, which is from the beginning of our kicktail, so where it starts to angle up, out to the tip of our board. The third one is kick angle, which is measured from the bottom surface of our board and the slope of the kicktail. And the last feature is the effective board height, which is basically the height of our deck from the ground, and that's made up of basically our riser pads if we are using them, truck height, and wheel radius. So pop angle affects a couple different things to how we skate um, and different people prefer different angles. So you might like something that's a little bit steeper, you might like something that's a little bit more responsive. The general uh, kind of comparison, we draw a line where this line represents mellow on this side and steep on the right. Basically, if you have a steeper angle, people will typically say, oh, that board has a little bit more pop. Um, it might feel like you're getting more pop. Whereas with a mellower angle, you get more of a responsive pop. So you don't have to work as hard basically to pop it up. Um, that's really a generality though, and you really have to experiment to see what you like best. Um, and a good way is to basically, if you have an asymmetrical board, uh, see if you like riding the nose or the tail better um, because usually they have slightly different pop angles. Usually the nose is a little bit mellower of a pop angle because by having a mellower pop angle you don't have to work as hard, you don't have to shift as much of your weight forward to pop a nollie and that kind of throws off your balance. So by having it a little bit more responsive uh, it's a little bit more easy to control your board. Um, and that's another thing to note is control with a steeper board, it might be tougher to control even though it might feel like you're getting more pop. Whereas a mellower board, you might feel like you have more control of your board. So we can measure pop angle pretty simply. The way we can do that is put our board basically in like the position it would be if you're about to ollie. And then you can take a protractor with a fishing line tied through little hole um, right here and we have some keys on the end of it which are basically used to act as a weight so that it pulls our string nice and straight. Now if we line up this black line on our protractor with one of the layers of our board and we do this in a spot on the board where all the layers are straight we will get an angle and in this case 56 degrees. So let me write that down. 56 degrees. So what that angle is, draw out a little triangle here where this line is our board, this line is the ground, and this line is a vertical line to the ground. It's perpendicular to the ground. 56 degrees is that angle. Now we know that this angle is our pop angle and that, that angle is the same as an angle that's complementary to this hypotenuse of our triangle. So those two angles are the same angle. And if we know that this is a complementary angle, that means these two angles add to 90 degrees. 90 minus 56 is 34. So for this board, it has a pop angle of 34 degrees. Now at open source boards, we are trying to better understand this data and collect this data and try and figure out um, what skaters like to ride based on how they skate, their physical characteristics, um, so that we can help um, skaters get better equipment. So if you measure your pop angle, let us know what you like to ride. Um, and that would be awesome so we can 
help provide you with better information for when you go out and design your boards and provide you with better boards. So with that, thank you for watching and see you later.